earlier this month, I sailed British Columbia, and it looked something like this. The adventure starts in Vancouver at the seaplane terminal. This is going to be my ride down to Desolation Sound. It is a once in a lifetime experience. I think what we're gonna see from above is completely unparalleled to anything else that you'll encounter in this area. These planes are 70 years old, so probably the oldest planes I'm ever gonna fly on in my entire life. But nevertheless, it should be absolutely spectacular. I can't wait to show you guys everything, so let's go. Flown in Antarctica and then Alaska, this World War II aircraft is where I saw my first whales in the wild. Needless to say, I got emotional. Just got to the boat and I'll be spending the next few days sailing around British Columbia. This is my room, so nice and cozy. Unfortunately, as you might have seen from our landing, the weather isn't quite what we were hoping for. So I think tonight we're just gonna have some dinner. We're gonna chill on the boat. And then the adventure starts tomorrow when the forecast is already looking a lot better. So we decided to go to an island called Nelson Island. On the way to get there, we are crossing an area that's apparently very popular with humpback whales and orcas. So I've been on intense whale watching duty for the past three and a half hours. I'm not doing a very good job because I didn't spot anything, but I was just informed that there's actually what looks like either a baby humpback whale or an orca not too far away from us. So we're gonna go check it out. I really, really, really hope that this is what we think it is and that we can get close enough for me to actually film it for you. Oh my gosh, I can see the spouting water. It's so close now. It's coming towards Holy you? Holy crap, it's coming right here. Oh my God, I just saw a fin through the binoculars. It's coming right here, literally. This is the best day ever. I've been up since 5.30 a.m. on intense and grueling whale watch. Finally, it's paying off! Oh my gosh, what a special place. What an incredible, incredible sighting. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's it. I can go to sleep happy now. I've seen everything I wanted to see today. This is Susan. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of fun things together this week. She's my friend from Palm Springs. What's a fun fact about you? I'm the funniest person I know. That's why I'm always entertained. <laughs> Spotted even more whales in the distance, so we're actually taking a tender now. Hopefully we get to go really close to them. They're all the way right over there where the land is. Let's see. literally right here. It's so close. It's like they're putting on a show just for us. Whoa. Holy smokes. Oh. Wow. They're just so beautiful and they're so graceful. Before we came here, I really, really wanted to see whales in the wild. Like that was one of my bucket list things that I had to do when I knew that this was a really good place to do it. Oh, I can hear it again. Oh my gosh, it's right there. 
stuff. So then when we were flying with the seaplane and we saw it from above, I was like, that's it, bucket list experience tick. And then today we saw them earlier from the boat and I said, okay, no, no, now this is the best way. And now here they're literally right in front of us, like what, 10 meters away. So I was like, no, there's no better way than this way. Whatever comes next, I don't know, but I can't imagine it being better than this. Good. Oh, they were right next to us. I've arranged the orcas to pamper through here at 5.30. I've arranged the orcas to pamper through here at 5.30. We've arrived at Nelson Island, which is where we were heading since earlier on today. I am blown away by the colors here, just the tranquil beauty of this place, and I think I'm gonna go for a hike next. Bear boop. So we were right out over there on the edge looking at the whales today and then we came in through here. The boat is anchored like right behind the right behind the trees. For the first time since my trip, I'm actually getting warm. <laughs> like I actually want to take off a layer as opposed to put one on. That's never happened in the past two days. Got back from the hike, jumped into the shower and the moment I got out, I got news that some orcas were spotted about a three minute tender ride over to that side. I saw them through the binoculars, but we are yet to see them up close. Gosh, what a day this is turning out to be. I feel like I'm filming a National Geographic documentary or something. That's how the orcas are behaving. They've been putting on a show for us for the past 20, 25 minutes now, and it just doesn't stop whenever we think, okay, they've got underwater. They're not coming back up. Every few minutes they come back up and they do something more and more and more amazing. Honestly, today has been one of the most memorable days that I've had on a holiday in the past, God knows how long. This is just ridiculous. Yes. We've been watching the orcas for close to an hour now and they're still right in front of us in plain sight and I cannot believe this experience. What a privilege, what an honor and just what memorable moments to share with these magnificent wild animals. I'm absolutely in shock that today happened at all but this was just a perfect conclusion to whatever today was because it was a dream. Everything was just wow. A new day starts in Desolation Sound, the largest marine park in British Columbia. It's a nature lover's paradise, and you can see why. Time for some paddle boarding. I've gotten the luxury service with Susan paddle boarding me around. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> what is it? Gondolier in <laughs> Venice. Venice 2.0. That's a more. <laughs> Then it was time to head out for yet another surprise. So many seals, so many seals! Refuge Cove, an authentic cove dating back to 1913 with a dock, gift shops, and a cafe. This is where you'll really feel the community spirit of the area. I want a hot chocolate. Do you know why? Because it looks warm, but I'm actually wearing two pairs of pants. <laughs> Great sweaters. Don't let the sun deceive you. This is Prito Haven, known for its calm waters and jaw-dropping views. Being here makes you stop for a moment to admire nature's heartbeat. It truly is magnificent. Good morning! 
another spectacular day. Today we are starting the day with some rapids. Kind of looking forward to it, not really sure what to expect. I've only seen a few pictures online and that's pretty much it. The rapids that I'm about to show you are a force of nature, quite literally, reaching up to 60 knots. It's best to see them at high tide. Well, that was super cool to say the least. And after that, we've definitely worked up an appetite. So we've come to an area called Gibson, which is along the Sunshine Coast. There's definitely a lot more civilization here. You have roads with little shops, boutiques, restaurants, and the locals have actually recommended Smitty's Oyster Bar, which is right down there. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna eat hopefully some fresh seafood. There is a huge queue when it opens, uh, which is at around midday. So thankfully we've come a little bit earlier and hopefully we'll get seated straight away. Well, not only was I in the mood for ice cream after that amazing lunch, but I also saw deep fried Oreos on the menu. I've never actually had a deep fried Oreo before, so Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so it's like an Oreo encased in a donut, but everything is really soft. The Oreo kind of loses its crunch. I'm not sure if I like it. I kind of prefer the ice cream, but since I've started this and I've committed to finishing it, I think I'm gonna have to eat it all. We just got to House Sound, which is quite close to Vancouver, actually. There's our boat. Weather's looking spectacular. I'm just gonna go on a little walk, explore the area, and I'm about to meet a dog, which is even more exciting than all the above. Almost as good as whales and orcas. Today is a pretty exciting day because Susan and I were invited to an event this evening. And the event is, and I'm not kidding when I say this, a Neil Diamond impersonator who calls himself Nearly Neil. Absolutely hilarious. And when I heard it, I just obviously had to go and see it. So we're getting ready now. We're about to go to this concert. It's right here in the area where we're docked. And he's actually pretty well known amongst the locals here in British Columbia. So I'm actually seeing a lot of boats pull up now because everyone wants to go see Nearly Neil. You can't make this stuff up. Good evening, everybody. My name's Bobby Bruce, also known as Nearly Neil. I got some great songs for you tonight. Not sure if you can hear, but there are still people partying and having fun even though the concert is over. I had such a blast. It is something that you don't see every day for sure. And I think the highlight for me has been meeting all of these new people and forming friendships and feeling like a big family. I think that brings me to a nice conclusion for my time here in British Columbia. Unfortunately, this is my last evening here because tomorrow I am having to pack my bags and leave back to Vancouver and then to my next stop, which is my final stop in Canada. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I think it's been one of the best nature focus trips that I've ever done. And I can safely say that it'll be one of your best memories and experiences too if you do decide to come out here. Check the description below for all the places that I visited as well as useful links for you and don't forget to check out this video next.